Good morning, good morning. So we're here again and I'm doing a ring pour and I'm doing a ring pour on a vase. On a vase. Welcome to my channel. It's Jilly Q from a Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, coming to you with this another little um something different again you know i've been i think i've done one or two now uh, on camera of pouring over vase well they're all charity shop finds i got this for three dollars from the charity shop i've got all sorts of things to pour over in the next uh, in the coming weeks and it's going to be fun because it's it's the same it's acrylic pouring but i'm um, not pouring it only on canvas i'm pouring on objects of all sorts this one I'm going to pour my acrylic pour and the runoff will go onto this canvas so it will kind of be a two for one. Now previously I cleaned all of my glass up with isopol which is alcohol. Um, so I just cleaned the glass up and the previous one that I did I, um, I put a sealer over the glass but so many people commented on my video that obviously do this more often than I that you don't actually need the um, you don't actually need a sealer you just the isopol over the glass is enough so you know I'm not one for um, wasting products where they don't need to be used so I'm happy enough with that is to just use the uh, alcohol to clean it so it's just basically getting all your fingerprints and your finger oils off off the object where am I getting that from now I've got some paint from somewhere oh anyway it's only paint it's just a bit of paint on there so I'm not going to worry too much about that so I've wiped this over with the alcohol what I did before is I didn't have me anything down to um I just had my glass on my canvas then when it's soaking wet how do you lift your glass off the canvas I, I was a silly jilly I didn't think so I'm going to try it this way is put the cup I maybe should use a shorter cup uh, let's see if I can get that one fit that's not as steady Eddie I'll stick with this one I think that should be fine I just have to be careful that I don't knock it over, which could happen, couldn't it? But, you know, you'll have a good old laugh about it, I'm sure. Have I got all of that in camera? Just, there you go. Okay, I'm using a bit of a mixture today of the, mostly I'm going to just use the Montmartre, these Montmartre pouring paints. They're pre-made paints, you don't have to do anything with them. They haven't got silicone in, so I don't need silicone to do a pour, a ring pour. I don't want cells on my vase. Um, so I'm going to use mostly those, but I have a little bit of white left over here that I'm going to utilise, which is just my normal pouring medium. And I have a bit of black, and I do have a bit of navy of just the studio acrylics might not use that one actually I might stick with the black because I'm the black because I'm using the golds I'm using gold rose gold and bronze so I want it to kind of look you know like classy classical I suppose I don't know but these are going to be great if you go to charity shops and get them for next to nothing or go in your cupboards for things that you no longer like and um, you can completely change the look of them you can give them as gifts I'll just show this was a little one I did a couple of days ago in the um, yeah kind of the dark navy and the gold and then I've, I've blinged it up around the top and I've put some leaves on it so I'm just waiting for that to fully dry and then I will gloss over the whole lot which will seal it um, and that's just lovely look at that one so you can bling them up with a bit of bling which is what I did to this one I was really pleased with that so I've got a few stages to go on that one I didn't actually film that one can you believe 
quick as I wanted to do a few for gifts. Anyway, let's get going. I'm going to tell you what, I might move that out of the way because I don't want to knock it over while I'm whizzing these paints in this cup. So what's easier than just pouring paints that you don't have to think about? So I've just I've given them a real good shake before I started. And add a little bit of black because as I learned before the black overtakes everything. But um, so I'll try not to go as heavy with the black this time. The gold, oh, good old lot of gold in there. I might just leave that on empty out on my canvas. That's absolutely fine. Put a good old dash of, dash of white. I'm just pouring it from a height so it kind of goes all. Wow, that looks super duper in there. Can you see in there? That looks pretty cool. Um, this is the bronze. So these are all metallic. So I'm hoping, well, like that other vase I did, it was just, oh, steady on, Eddie. I'll go back to the black. Probably is more than enough of that. Going back to some more gold. Never have enough bling, can you? So there we go. Bling, 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 bling. Leave that upside down to do its thing. Some more of the rose gold. I think that should be enough. If there's too much, um, I'll stop and I can use that then on the canvas afterwards. So no problem. A little bit more. Probably shouldn't, but I did. Okay, let's move these out of the way now. Now I'll move the vase back over that I want to pour over with the cup. Try and get it pretty level because otherwise the paint is going to run off one side more than the other. So just trying to keep it level. I'm trying to get every last drop out of those. It's absolutely fine. What I'm going to do with the cup that I've just poured, I am going to get my little stirrer and just stir it round once and twice. Pull it out. Oh, cute. Very nice. Oh, please, please hope that I have not put too much black in it. Let's do this so. Under in a ring, just very little. I can see it's leaning more to that one side, so I have to adjust where I'm pouring it. Oh, look at those colours. See, it needed to add the black so it's a contrast and it still makes it look classy, classy looking colours. Oh, this is so much fun, people. You have to try Louis the Fly pop off. Just coming over here. I'm going to come over this side because I'm not having so much paint running this side. Maybe I'll go right round that. Ooh. I think now I need some more black in it at this point to give it a contrast. I'm going to stop there so I can see. Oh my goodness, look at that. Holy dooly. And it, I mean, even though you think it needs more, it actually is going down and covering the whole of your, oh, that is beautiful. It's covering the whole of your vase. That is stunning, people. That is so stunning. It looks like it's it's some um, rock stone or stone or whatever cut stone. That's absolutely stunning. 
<laughs> wow. Wowzers trousers. That is a wowzers trousers. That is lovely. Really liking that. That is pretty cool. Love it. How am I going to try and get that over there now while I do something with the canvas? So you've got kind of, you've got your canvas and your um that vase vase that go together nicely. So I might just leave this for 10 minutes to just run and fully cover the vase before I move it off the canvas. But I'll be back in one second with you guys. So I move that gorgeous vase aside. So I'm hoping that you can see what I'm doing. Can you still see what I'm doing here? Yeah, pretty much, hey? What I'm gonna do with this canvas, so I'm gonna pour the rest of the, which I've got loads, way too much for that one item. So I will pour this in a figure eight. Figure eight, figure eight, figure eight. A figure eight. There you go. This is going to be. This would be just a perfect gift because you can give the canvas as a gift with the vase. It's beautiful. So the figure eight always gives some interesting three D effects when you pour that way. I find. So I'll just cover my canvas up before I start tilting any off it. So just nice and gently. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful too. That is stunning. Love it. How easy is that? You haven't got to think about mixing paints, doing anything. You're pouring straight from the bottle and this actual, these Montmartre pouring paints actually um, dry, quite glossy. I, I have, I will coat over the vase for sure, but they actually dry quite glossy and like, almost like, um, feel like a vinyl. Look at that. That is beautiful. I love it. Love it. Look at the sides and everything. That is stunning, people. I'll just give it a whiz with the magic wand. The magic wand. Got a couple of these. They're great. I use them instead of using butane. Love them. Love this. Love this little set I've done. I'll go over my bars as well. get any air bubbles out and it'll start it on its drying process. I found this dries pretty quick so pretty good. Love it. Absolutely love, love, love it. Look at this perfect to go with the vase happy 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 days love it pouring gods were with me <laughs> oh so blessed thank you thank you for joining me again on a crazy journey pouring over the vase look out for the photos at the end but um i may take this one a little bit further and wait till it fully dries and gloss it and I might add a bit of this and a bit of that, who knows. But if you'd like to see the fully dry and finished blinged up version, hop over to my Acrylic Art by Jilly Cube Facebook page. Um, the link is underneath in the description box of this video. Or you can join our Australian, uh, Australian Acrylic Pouring Group. The link is below and on that particular site, that's for you guys to post your work 
and uh, show what you do, ask questions or answer people's questions that you may be able to help beginners. So it's a really good safe environment. We don't suffer any um, nastiness or spitefulness or bullying. It's all for um, helping and building up our village, our village of acrylic pourers. <laughs> The such things or my cellmates <laughs> so yeah so if you want to hop over to that the link is below in the description underneath this video and I will also put in the first comment pinned comment a link to the other vase that I poured so have fun guys try this it is really great and it starts you going through your cupboards looking for anything <laughs> that you can pour over um, and as well as the charity shops will benefit if you go and buy a few things from charity shops. So until next time, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And the next video will be out tomorrow morning. So bye for now.